Hi guys, it's Diane here from UK Disney Vlog. Welcome back to the channel for all those that are subscribed. And if you're not, not subscribed yet, why not? Go and do it. So today is a super, super, super quick vlog on, and it's very useful for anyone that has never traveled before, never traveled to the US or gone to Walt Disney World in Orlando. So this is useful documents. What travel documents and what things do we need to take with us and essential items. So the biggest one you need is a valid passport. A valid passport, obviously, for whatever country you're from, it has to be valid to travel to the United States. With that, you will need an Esther. If you don't know what an Esther is, we'll leave a link down below. David will love that one. We'll leave a link down below and um, just follow that link for you to book your Esters. Don't go through one of these different travel, these different companies that offer to do it for you. You do it all for you, do it all for yourself, and do it online. So that's your Esters. There's also a bit of a debate whether you need to print out your Esther or not. Some people say you do, some people say you don't. Um, I think as a general rule of thumb, I would always try and print my Esther out or make sure I've got it saved somewhere. Um, just because I have heard stories of people getting to the States and they, the Esther's not there and they've had difficulty. If it wasn't for the printout copy, then they might not have been ac um, granted access to the United States. Another thing you also need is your e-ticket. So your boarding pass or your ticket that you need any hotel confirmation. Most of us these days all carry it on our phones, our e-tickets are there. A lot of people don't use paper anymore. I'm pretty old school, I do like printed paper, so I do have a lot of those travel documents with me, but a lot of us are a bit more modern than me and use it on our phones. So if you use your phone, you never know, something might happen. Your battery might die, you might suddenly drop your phone at the airport. You need to make sure what we do is back everything up in the cloud. We back up all our essential documents, our e-tickets in the cloud, so the information can be accessed from any computer. So if anything was happened to your phone, then you have that information there. It'll just take a little bit longer to sort out, but it's not a big deal. It's all there and it's all backed up. Next thing is your driver's license. Don't forget, if you're going to be driving while you're in the States, you will need your driver's license. Obviously, the old paper ones are gone for us people that are really old. Just don't forget your, your card to go with your driver's license. I've also heard that you'll need a credit card as well when you hire in a car, and the credit card needs to be in the name of the driver. You'll learn this the hard way from Tinker Tales and their recent travels. Um, luckily, Disney sorted it all for them, but yeah, you probably need a uh, credit card in the name of the driver. Another thing don't forget is your money. You're going to be spending loads of money while you're in Disney, either with dollars or these prepaid credit cards. Now prepaid credit cards are really useful, obviously you don't want to be taking hundreds and hundreds of dollars with you, but you will need hard cash or any, a way of accessing it. And sometimes you might even need dollars at the airport. If you are using the Magical Express or you're getting assistance, you need to be able to tip. Tipping is very essential at the airports and with Magical Express. Whoever touches your bags or ever helps you needs a tip. They generally say about a dollar per bag, plus a dollar extra. So if you've got lots of luggage and someone's helping you out, you will need access to that cash pretty much straight away. Also, if you're traveling through airports or, and you need special assistance, like wheelchair assistance, these guys need tipping too. So you need to make sure that you have got some physical hard dollars. And don't forget, an amazing essential thing. Don't forget your tickets. If you are booking through places like Attractions Tickets Direct and they send you your tickets before, don't forget these little bad boys. Really important. You need to be able to get into those parks. I'm pretty sure with a little bit of pixie dust and Disney magic, they'd sort it for you if you didn't. But don't forget your tickets. It just saves that extra little bit of stress. So have I missed anything? Is there any essential items, any essential travel documents that you take that I have not mentioned? Oh yeah. Travel insurance, I forgot that one. Don't forget to get your travel insurance. It is really important to get it. If you lose your luggage, if for some reason you become ill and need to go and seek help, get your travel insurance. Try and get the best one you can afford. I know people think, well, I don't really use it. This time might be the one time that you need to use it. So make sure you have your travel insurance 
because they won't always treat you in the States and we know how healthcare, how expensive healthcare is out there, so make sure you have your travel insurance. Yep, tell me what I've missed. Drop me a line down below, leave me a comment. Um, just a very, very super quick vlog. Um, don't for forget to click that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye!